This project is one of the most ambitious and strategic programs in India's defense history and it will have a significant impact on India's maritime security and interest. A huge and historic project that is underway in India which will transform its naval power and give it an edge over its rivals. Yes, I'm talking about the project costing $6 billion that would build six new submarines for the Indian Navy which is also known as the Project 75I. I here stands for India because it is one of the biggest defense projects approved under Make in India banner. But what is this project all about? What are the features and capabilities of this new submarines? And most importantly, why is it so important for India's naval power? In this video, I will answer all these questions and explain you how this $6 billion submarine project will boost its naval power. Hello and Namaste everyone, I am Shahana back with another interesting video. Submarines are one of the most crucial and versatile assets of any navy. They can perform a variety of roles from surveillance, intelligence gathering, anti-submarine warfare to anti-surface land attack, special operations and many more. They can operate stealthy and independently in hostile waters and pose a serious threat to enemy ships and submarines and also act as a second strike platform in case of nuclear war, ensuring a credible deterrence against any adversary. But do you know how many submarines does India have? And how do they compare with other navies in the region? Well, India has a long history of operating submarines since 1967 when it acquired its first submarine INS Kalvari of the Foxtrot class from the Soviet Union. And by 1969, it had four of those class. And during the 1971 war with Pakistan, these submarines were immersed into war. Since then, India has operated various types of submarines from different countries such as Russia and Germany. Currently, India has 15 conventional diesel-electric submarines classified as SSKS and one nuclear ballistic submarine classified as SSBN. And if I tell you more of SSKS classified submarines, four are Shishumar class which were bought and then built in India in collaboration with Germans starting in 1980. Eight are Kilo class or Sindhu Ghosh class bought from Russia including former USSR between 1980 to 2000 and three Kalvari class Scorpion submarines built at India Mezagon Dock in partnership with France Naval Group, whereas SSBN INS Arihant is a nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine built indigenously. Interestingly, a second SSBN INS Arihant, an upgraded version of Arihant, is likely to be commissioned within the next few months. However, this fleet is not enough to meet India's growing maritime challenges and aspirations. India faces a complex and dynamic security environment in the Indian Ocean region, where it has vital economic and strategic interest. It has to contend with various threats such as piracy, terrorism, smuggling, illegal fishing, natural disaster and many more, and also to deal with rising presence and influence of China in the region, which has been expanding its naval capabilities and activities in recent years. China has much larger and more modern submarine fleet than India, with over 60 submarines in service, including six nuclear-powered attack submarines submarines and four nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. Not only this, he has also been developing new types of submarines such as air-independent propulsion submarines and underwater drones. The negative part is it has been building strategic partnerships and bases in countries such as Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Djibouti and others, which could pose a threat to India's maritime security. So what is India doing to counter these challenges and protect its maritime interest? Well, India has launched a new and ambitious project to build six new submarines with the advanced features and capabilities. This project is known as Project 75I and it is worth $6 billion. The biggest criteria to build the P-75I submarine is that it has to have the capability to stay underwater for over two weeks. And this will thanks to its cutting-edge air-independent propulsion. And you know what? Our current submarines are mostly 25 years old or so have the endurance to stay underwater only for a couple of days or a few days. The strength of a submarine is its stealth. The quieter it is, longer it can sustain itself underwater, unseen by the enemy, the better it is. This batch of six submarines will be costing over 40,000 crore rupees. So if you ask me why it has taken 21 years to get here, the answer is not so complicated. The Vajpayee government felt the need of it. This is why a 30-year plan from 2000 to 2030 for indigenous submarine construction was approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security in 1999. That predicted two production lines of six submarines, each built in India in partnership with a foreign original equipment manufacturer. All of them for eight years, things didn't move. In 2007, under Dr. Manmohan Singh, this particular project was approved for the next 12 years. 
Again, it was put on the burner. In 2019, the Modi government approved the acceptance for necessity. The first submarine of Project 75I will be delivered only by 2031. But what makes this new submarine so special and different from the existing ones? Well, the main feature and requirement for Project 75I is that the submarines will be equipped with air-independent propulsion (AIP) system. What is AIP system? AIP system are type of technology that allows submarines to stay submerged for longer periods of time without surfacing for oxygen. This makes them stealthier and more lethal than conventional submarines that have to come up for air every few days. AIP system can be based on different technologies such as fuel cells, Starling engines, closed cycle diesel engines, or anaerobic turbines. Each foreign vendor has its own type of AIP system that it can offer to India. The other features and requirements of Project 75I are that submarines will have a displacement of around 3,000 tons, a maximum speed of around 20 knots, a diving depth of around 300 meters, a range of around 12,000 nautical miles, an endurance of around 50 days, a crew of around 40 personnel, and a weapon package that includes torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, and land attack cruise missiles. But conventional submarines have their own advantages as well. They are way cheaper than nuclear submarines since their hull is smaller, they maneuver well in shallow waters, and make for good deterrence in your own waters. Countries like USA, UK, France has moved completely to nuclear submarines, but many countries structured their navies to include both, which means conventional submarines and nuclear submarines. So, how will these new submarines boost India's naval power and maritime security? Well, by acquiring six new submarines with AIP systems, India will be able to increase its operational availability, endurance, and survivability in the contested waters of the Indian Ocean region. The new submarines will be able to operate in areas where enemy ships and submarines are present and conduct missions such as reconnaissance, surveillance, intelligence gathering, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and land attacks, and many more. The new submarines will also enhance India's second strike capability in case of a nuclear war, ensuring a credible deterrence against any adversary. The project will also boost India's self-reliance in defense production and create jobs opportunities for the domestic industry. The project will involve the transfer of technology and know-how from the foreign vendors to the Indian partners and the development of indigenous components and materials for the submarines the project will also generate employment and revenue for the local shipyards and suppliers involved in the project so this is it project 75i is a game changer for india's naval power and maritime security it is a vision of making india a stronger and more capable naval power that can protect its maritime interest and deter any threats or aggression from its adversaries it is a vision of making india a net security provider in the indian ocean region and a leading blue water navy that can operate across the oceans that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please hit that like button and share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload a new video thank you for watching and see you next time